Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I will talk to you about my basic answer. So today, I will be answering 10 questions that I have been asked since my surgery two weeks ago in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, sa lahat ng mga friends ko na nagtatanong how my procedure went and what exactly happened. Here is the full vlog for you guys. 575 yung grado ng mata ko dito sa right eye. Tapos sa left eye po, 550. Pero ngayon, 20 at saka 12. Oh! Question was, what is LASIK? A surgery that can correct vision in people who are nearsighted, farsighted, or who have astigmatism. So, ako po, yung grade ng mata ko was 575 and 550. Ako po, uh, ang condition ko is nearsighted. So, that's myopia. Tama po. Ayan. Yung nearsighted, yung nakikita mo lang yung malapit, pero yung malayo, hindi na. So, ang popular term sa kanya is laser eye surgery because ginagamit nga ng laser or laser vision correction. A type of refractive surgery for the correction of myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism. Ang LASIK then it came from the word laser in situ keratomiliosis. <laughs> so ka lang sabihin yan. Kasi yun ka lang rin na laman eh. But in my own words, LASIK eye surgery is a surgery that you go to when you want to better your eyesight. So from having poor eyesight to a clearer vision. Uy, question number two. Why did I do LASIK eye surgery when I have my glasses or contact lenses working for me just fine? First, Aalala po talaga ako, I am worried about my overall eye health kasi nga po every year tumataas yung grade ko. So, from 200 lang when I was 11 years old or grade 5 po ako na parang nagsimula ako magsalamin. Tapos every year tumataas siya until siguro po 18 years old ako, naging 400 siya, 20 years old, naging 500. Last year po, 2020, 550. And now, 2021, I'm 23 years old. 575 na po yung nadetect sa mata ko. I want to do this LASIK eye surgery before it's too late. Na hindi na ako pwede. Kasi sabi nila, pag tumating na daw sa point ng 1,000 and up, baka masyado nang manipis or thin yung cornea mo na hindi na kaya i-treat ng LASIK eye surgery. What LASIK means to me is it will be a permanent solution na hindi ko na kailangang mag-salamin or mag-contact lens every single year. And nagpapalit talaga ako eh, every year actually, uh, more often than a year. Yung contact lens na expire siya a month, six months, three months. Yung salamin ko, mabilis lang siya mabahas. Like, parang every now and then ka lang ko siya ipaayos your frame. And then, I want to actually, for once, care about my eyes na um, yung root cause na talaga niya, yun yung i-address ko, hindi lang yung mga short-term solutions. Third question, how did you prepare for the procedure? So, since I wear contact lenses, when I called the LASIK center, they said that I need to rest for at least 7 days before my procedure, but for those wearing hard contact lenses, for at least 14 days, hindi ka magka-contact lens before your procedure, and dapat, uh, of course, you're uh, older than 18, you're not pregnant, and if you're taking medications, you should uh, tell the doctors. Tapos, they will check naman na everything. So, if you have eye condition, since you age, hindi na lazy kayo i-recommend na lang sa'yo. Question number four. How was the comprehensive eye screening like? So, it was a series of tests, maraming machines, na... Uh, check yung current state ng mata mo, the pressure, the dryness, the astigmatism, and also the color blindness. Uh, we went to a dark room. So, I went to the LASIK center mga 11 a.m. So, the whole comprehensive eye screening was 
one hour. Tapos, they put some anesthesia or dilation drops. I think eye drops. Na need daw siya three hours before the procedure. So, nung natapos ako may 12 noon, 3 p.m. na yung schedule, earliest schedule ng eye surgery ko. So, I went to lunch. By 1 p.m., I went back there. Tapos, I signed na all the consent forms, waiver, and I had to pay right there and then if I want to continue with the surgery. Para one day process na lang siya, no? Kasi they said that if I push through that day, they will waive the comprehensive ice cream and fee. So, I did. By 3 p.m., ayun, uh, we were getting ready already. I was in my lab gown. And the patients, I was, uh, and the other patients, I was also able to talk to them. How was it? And everyone naman was enthusiastic. Question number five. So, what happened in my actual procedure? So, it took about 45 minutes to an hour. So, sugar 30 to 45. I think longer than usual because they said na 15 to 30 minutes time procedure. But definitely mine took 45 to an hour. Why? Because malikot daw yung mata ko. So my eyes weren't as cooperative as it should be. So they were telling me to look directly at the light, target light. So it's either red, blue, green, ganyan. But there was also so much happening. So you can feel that the corneal flap is being opened. My anesthesia naman before the procedure. And it will be eye drops na anesthesia. And while they will open your corneal flap, hindi yun yung masakit. Actually, so kahit um, i-open nila yan, hindi siya masakit. Ang masakit yung kapag nilalagyan na ng water. Kasi, nagbo-burn talaga yung eyes. As in, literal. Ay pala, burning lang yung pain sa eyes. And then, they started with my left eye. But then, hindi nila malinser. And, di ba, nakabulat-lat na parang ganyan. Tapos, ililaser na dapat. Pero, ang likot-likot daw ng mata ko. So, nag-give up si Sir John. Pumunta siya sa right eye ko. Dito sa right eye, ito talaga yung nagkaroon ng pasa so much. Kaya, ang laki talaga ng red. Kasi, they repeatedly do the process, no? The procedure in my eye where I think, uh, in-open yung corneal flap and then nilalagyan ng water and then nililaser. And then, kapag ililaser na ang kulit ng mata ko, so, hindi niya matama. Eh, hindi niya naman pwedeng, I mean, habang pag ganun-ganun yung mata ko, ba? Hindi naman niya pwedeng ilaser yun. Kasi kailangan niya ta straight, ba? Sa eyeballs. So, nahirapan. As in, I can feel their discomfort na ang likot ng mata ko. Ang nangyari ay, we had to do it. I think the surgeon had to do it three or four times before na laser yung mata ko. And sa left eye ko was more okay, so relatively uh, faster. And then I was done. Ayan. So, yung mga nagtatanong na masakit ba, I think it's really a case-to-case -case basis. In my experience, yes. Ang term kasi dito ng vloggers before um, for the LASIK surgery, kaya hindi ako natakot aside from watching the LASIK anatomy is that sabi nila, you will only hear discomfort and you will only feel pressure that's coming to your eye but sa akin talaga ay hindi felt the bleeding so it wasn't painless it was painful until after the procedure so after the procedure Meron daw mo talaga, no, na sore yung eye mo. And that really something happened. Parang nasugatan yung eye mo. Yun talaga yung feeling. So, for one whole day, that's how my eye felt.
parang siyang may sukat. And imagine as I am. So it's, it's really painful. Uh, the night that I got home, uh, what I needed to do was more eye drops. Three eye drops go in my eye every three hours. So I had my procedure by three, the subs kami ng four. First eye drop was 7 p.m. Next was 10 p.m. 1 a.m. 4 a.m. 7 a.m. 10 a.m. 1 p.m. Pag panagran, um, every three hours until I got back to the basic center again for the one day post operation. No? So, they saw that on the worry kasi um, actually lumiit naman na siya. Six. The post op. So, what can I do and cannot do? So, of course, put water in my eyes. Bawa siya kasi for a week. And bawa din mag-sweeping, bawa na high makeup, bawa certain activities where I would have a lift and again, high to give me as. Yun yung mga bawa. Hindi ako naligo ng mga week. <laughs> Parang naligo lang ako nung bumalik na ako sa basic center for the uh, one week surgery. So, I mean, naligo ako dito. Pero yung sa up, hindi na. Hindi ko na binasa ako itong buhok ko. Number seven. How will you maintain? So, there will be checkups. Dun sa pinuntahan ko will be one day, one week, one month, three months, to five years now, covered na siya. So that's good, di ba? You can actually talk to eye surgeons and ophthalmologists about your eyes. And um, maintenance will be, I have two medications, but also one at your norm, na artificial tears. So whenever it dries up, I just put them. So meron po akong tatlong gamot. Ayan, Drake, hawakan mo. <laughs> Meron po akong Octaquicks, Prednisolone Acetate. Ito daw yung dalawang gamot na kailangan ko ubusin. Pero kapag dry pa yung eyes ko, pwede ko naman bumili ulit na Cationorm Ophthalmic Emulsion Multidose Preservative Food. Uy, may dulaan! Malinaw ba? Okay. So, turun ko kayo kung paano maglagay. So, dapat nakahiga kayo nito. Yan. O, one drop. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, ganun lang siya. Okay. Number eight. Where did I do my LASIK? It's in Shinagawa LASIK Center in BGC. It's not sponsored. I wish <laughs> it was sponsored because it's so expensive. But it was my own money. I went there because I thought there will be discount sa uh, HMO from my company. Pero sabi nila, yes, pero 50% covered lang. And then, when I got there, sabi nila, alam ma'am, actually, meron kami nitong discount, parang 55% this month, parang ganun. So, um, we don't even need to use your HMO card. You can just, uh, we can just give it to you now. Parang ganun. Baka may promo sila or something. So, that's where I have gotten. But if there are more affordable basic centers out there, please feel free to research more. Number nine. How much ang um, LASIK na how much siya inabot, no? So the comprehensive eye screening that was 3,500. If nag next day operation ako ganyan, or hindi same day, yung eye screening at saka yung operation, Hindi siya ma-wave, pero na-wave naman since one day nga yung surgery ko. What I did, wa, ang inabot sa akin ay 190,000. The procedure of Z-Prime. So, meron ding ultra-prime LASIK eye surgery which costed 200,000. But, since I got the 55% discount, 
So, ang total na lang na binayar ko is 85,000. So, ano daw yung pinagkaiba lang, no? Mas high-end daw yung, or high-tech, yung mga machines and equipments ng Ultra, Ultra Prime Z LASIK. Mas mababa siya than the Z Prime. Pero applicable lang siya sa mababa ang grado, like 200 and below. Imagine guys, parang 140,000 lang yun. So, so, if you have, uh, if you know of any promos, maganda rin na uh, you check it out before. And last, 10, uh, 10th question is, worth it ba yung pagkamahal-mahal na? For me guys, ang mahal ha, ang mahal niya. Kasi it's my own money. It's my hard-earned money. I am 23 years old. I have just started working two years ago. I really had to save at least 10,000 pesos or 5,000 pesos every month sa aking salary before I was able to come up with this decision. It wasn't like an impulsive na pinag-ipunan ko siya for such a long time and I didn't ask for my parents' help or hindi ako nangutang. It's really my hard-earned money. So, whenever people are asking me if it is worth it, yes. Yes, it is worth it. Worth every centavo that I am able to see the world clearly. Kasi, grabe, the day before, uh, the day after the surgery is meron talaga improvement sa eyes mo. So, medyo blurry lang, no? Medyo hazy. Kasi nga, um, your eyes are healing. But now, um, two weeks after the surgery, if you can see, kahit meron, um, yeah, may pasa pa rin, may bruising, yung vision ko is not affected. Talagang, nakikita ko lahat. Kahit ayaw ko makita, nakikita ko. Magic. I think I've entered a new chapter in my life where I can see everything because I've been living na malaboy mata ko since 11 years old. So, kung 23 ako ngayon, 12 years na. Ang saya ko, um, this really a blessing that I've come to this point of my life that I can give this to myself because this is my gift to myself this 2021 and hopefully, maalagaan ko siya. Really a good investment. So, uh, friends, if you're hesitating, please talk to your ophthalmologist or your eye doctor, your optometrist, siguro. Ako kasi familiar lang sa optometrist, pero wala tagap siyang kilala ng ophthalmologist. Please, please consult and um, I encourage you to do this also. If you have the money, if you have the courage, and if you think you're ready, wag niyo na pong palalain yung mata nyo. It's time to do LASIK when you're young. So, so ngayon po, 2012 na yung vision ko. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang pinakamalinaw na mata ay 2020. Pero dahil po sa eye surgery ko, mas malinaw pa sa malina. So, 2012 na yung vision ko. So, dati po, 570. Sabihin po, malinaw na talaga yung mata ko. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Bye-bye ka na. Watching this video, this has been Josa and Drakey. See you guys next time. Bye!